Hi, I'm going to show you how to use GeoGebra to explore the properties of a quadratic function. Now you can download the program by going to this website. And then this is the screen that you will have when you open the program. Now look at those steps. The first one, make any three points on the screen. You can make use of this button and then just click on the screen like that and you can make three points. And the coordinates of these three points will be shown on the left. Now you have to create slider. This one is the slider. Press the button and then click on the screen. Then you can define the name of the slider and the other properties. Say for example, the minimum value for this slider is 100, maximum is 100. And then the increment is 0 from 0 1. And then you can just keep doing that. And then you can define the other two sliders similarly. Okay, increment 0 from 0 1. And then the last one, okay. Minus 100, 100, and then 0 0 0.01. Now then, at the bottom you'll find there's an input box, and then you can just press on this one, and then follow the procedure here, and then you type A times bracket x minus h, and then this one represents um, power, okay, power to the square. And then press K and then press enter. Then you will find um, the curve here, and this curve represents the graph of this function. Now, when you look at um, the function, it is not the same as what you have in your worksheets because um, here, if you look at the slider, A is 1, H is 1, and K is 1. Therefore, uh, the function here becomes 1 here. A is 1 and then x minus 1 whole square and then plus 1. Now then come here and then you use this key and then you can move or you can change the value of the slider. And your job is to change these value okay such that you will have this curve passing through these three points. Now you can have some um, minor changes on these three parameters by using the arrow keys on your keyboard. Um, for example, now K uh, is highlighted and then when you press the left and right button and uh, arrow keys on your keyboard, then you will find that the changes is, um, is um, a small and then you can uh, move this graph or change the shape of this graph slowly, gradually. Like that. And then you just try to get one okay passing through these three points. And then afterwards you can answer the questions and when you um change out uh, the slider here, change the values of these three parameters, try to observe the change of the graph uh, at the same time. It means try to see how these three parameters affect the shapes of this graph. Now, try your best to finish your worksheets. Okay, bye-bye.